take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to close, feeling so relaxed. And as you relax, feel the tension is being released. Giving you a wonderful feeling of calm, peace, and relaxation. As you breathe in, breathe in deeper, more slowly, more deliberately than you normally do. And as you exhale, just elongate the breath. Allow it to be slow and deliberate, feeling a sense of release that you're letting go of whatever needs to leave your body. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine an ancient building. Maybe you could imagine going back in time hundreds, if not thousands of years. And I want you to imagine an old building with a wooden door. But I want you to get a sense that this door is not quite large enough for what is needed for your future. And just with your mind as you breathe in and breathe out, just imagine expanding the width of the door and the height of the door to make it sufficiently big for something that would represent worthiness and glory to enter. See it expanding. See the lintels being raised. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you'll know when the new size of the door is big enough and high enough to be worthy of this version of you. And what it is, I will count down from five to one. And when I arrive at one, you will imagine walking through the door and imagining that the door itself represents a threshold of change. That you were someone different in your past than you are in your future. And the door represents crossing the threshold from your past into your future. Breathing in and breathing out. Five, feeling more relaxed, particularly around the neck and the shoulders. Four, releasing all tension around your forehead, jaw, around your mouth. Three, just feeling like arms and legs going deeper and deeper relaxed. That's in. Two, breathing in and breathing out. And one, imagine walking through the door a large door with lintels raised high and find yourself in an old peculiar building and I want you to get a sense and assessment that in this building you have the skills and capabilities to make beautiful things from whatever is inside. 
assess that you are talented, wise, and knowledgeable. Consider yourself an alchemist of sorts. Finding things of limited value and magically transforming them into something that is immeasurably more valuable. And I want you to find somewhere in this old house something comfortable, a bed or a chair, and just allow yourself to rest. Allow your physical body to rest as your imagination realizes that you are more resilient with the capacity to learn faster than you ever thought possible and just relax there, drifting off deeper and deeper relaxed. As you allow your physical body to stay there while your imagination leaves the bed or the chair feeling that you are surrounded by an impenetrable force field that we can call resilience. And I want you to imagine as you walk out back through the same door, you find yourself in a different time. I want you to imagine an old neighborhood that used to grow up in. But you're now in the same neighborhood as a child at your current age, surrounded by this impenetrable force field. But as you walk around the old neighborhood, I want you to see the old kids from the neighborhood. And what may have bothered you in the past now has a different connotation because you are wiser now, stronger now, that the past actually forged something strong within you. See the faces, hear the words, but feel that the energy is being absorbed to make you Stronger than ever before. You can recognize those old streets, buildings, perhaps even old cars parked outside, maybe bicycles, and see those kids wearing the kind of clothes they wore back then. The words that used to sting now almost bounce off you like hailstones on a car windshield. What affected you in the past is insignificant to you now. In fact, you could say whatever needs to be said to some of those people of the past from a position of strength, resilience, and confidence. You have a strong voice, a powerful voice. And as you have those conversations... Notice that so much of what was said in the past was just the insecurities of children being projected outwards. And just feel that you can see it from a new perspective now. You can see things how they really are that actually some of that emotional pain, even humiliation, didn't weaken you, didn't break you. It was the making of you. 
So continue to walk around that neighborhood until you find a place. Find a place that perhaps represented safety, security, or quiet contemplation all the way back then. And when you find that place, let me know by nodding your head. And make yourself comfortable in that place. Opening your mind to a new chapter in your life. Where things feel perfect. With an immense sense of gratitude. And feel so wonderful that that's where you are in your life right now. And as you feel that immense gratitude for where you are in your life right now, you make the evaluation that every moment, good, bad, or indifferent, has led you here. Here to the present moment. Even your painful memories begin to take on brand new meanings as you start to recognize just how much they have built your resilience and discernment. And think of that quote. Raise high the lintels so the king of glory may come in. As you feel that you have elevated your perspective and are now open to profound possibilities. And you can be proud of your discernment, knowing that it has guided you to make wise and impactful decisions. Celebrate your creativity. Finding joy in making beautiful things of just those random things that exist around you. Because your creativity empowers you. Reminding you that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. You can feel inspired to build and create and not just physical objects. Knowing that each new creation brings you closer to a future of gratitude and fulfillment. And over your life's journey so far, notice how you always seem to embrace wisdom and growth. Understanding that you are right now on the cusp of something truly profound and impactful. feel that you're levitating because you have elevated your viewpoint you've raised your standards and now have higher positive expectations for yourself and your impact on the world in the past there was shame embarrassment Perhaps a feeling of not being enough, but notice that now you feel a deep sense of worthiness, knowing that you deserve all the good things that come your way. And part of what will bring those good things is your excitement about learning new and important things, feeling like you're discovering hidden gems 
in your life, in your surroundings and in your studies. Possibilities are infinite. And don't be surprised if each day you discover new possibilities, new opportunities that inspire, motivate, and resonate with your soul. And notice just how powerful gratitude can be. That you can feel grateful for every experience in your past. Knowing that in some way, big or small, it has shaped you into the person that you are today. We use labels in life, some true, some useful. But I wonder what would happen if you recognized that your past has been perfect in guiding you to your present, a present filled with understanding and purpose. That even your prayers focus on praising the divine. Feeling thankful for the journey that has brought you here in this moment. That all of these coincidences, all of these unexpected twists and turns, at some level, were meant to happen. So feel that drive to understand and learn, knowing that this passion stems from your unique experiences. And trust that you are on, are on the right path, feeling confident and assured in your direction. that past pain are now powerful lessons that are elevating your life to inspire or influence or impact others. Notice that when they come along you welcome moments of laughter feeling joy in the little things and letting go of old things that used to bother you or cause you pain. You can feel grateful for what's good. That's easy. But what if you could feel gratitude for every challenge you have faced? Knowing that those challenges and that adversity have made you stronger and wiser, more discerning and more resilient. So decide now, more than ever before, that you will open yourself to the divine presence, feeling guided and supported in all you do, now is the time that you can truly begin to trust yourself fully and in doing so become more creative and become more impactful because your creativity has a powerful impact and you can feel proud of the beautiful things you've brought into the world and will continue to do so as you realize that you truly believe strongly in your path, acknowledging that your journey is guided by a higher purpose. You can find peace in your past. 
and you'll notice that the more you look for peace in the past, the more you find it. Feeling thankful for every experience that has guided you to the present moment that has led you to the here and now. The present is all we will ever be in a moment. The future as you perceive it now will be a future moment in the present. So embrace the future with excitement and positive anticipation, knowing you are on the cusp, the verge, the brink of something truly profound. It's now time to leave that safe, secure place in an old neighborhood. But as you leave that place, notice that you can walk back through that old neighborhood without needing the force field anymore. You are the force field. Your strength and wisdom, perspective and resilience means you don't need to be protected anymore. No matter what is said, you can handle it. It just makes you even stronger. Walk back through the neighborhood, holding strong, confident eye contact with whoever you see on your way until you find an old, old house with a wooden door, a large door, a door where the lintels are raised high, realizing that there is a part of your conscious mind fast asleep in that house. So walk through the door and find that version of you perhaps asleep on a bed or a chair. Step into that part of you, integrating the past, the present, and the future, the conscious and the unconscious, all in a single moment, but taking all of these wonderful changes with you. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, connecting back to your physical body. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, you will return to this moment feeling optimistic, strong, wise, discerning, feeling you are perhaps moments or days away from something incredible. Starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6... More alert. Seven, eight. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.